Gonna get trickier for a team. I feel like as Saber like gets some levels, he's now got that first one in astral. So now you've got that arrow set up. Definitely something to watch for there, as they are gonna try and get a little pull off to the side. Yoda pulling it away, uh, and that does leave Rises in a bit of a precarious situation here as they try and keep the pressure on. But yeah, all three lanes this time. I mean, when you lose a game like that last one, it's it's hard not to sort of. Uh, carry some of that weight into game number two um and we'll see if they can sort of get their feet back underneath them here on the a team over the next couple of minutes yeah i think uh look to see if these teams can test the four minute runes it looks like sabo already had it bottom recognizing that hey bryles windranger if he gets a power rune here that could be very problematic for prince who is already slightly losing this lane both teams sending supports to try and secure those four minute runes Rolls on in, but the rune is top where Moon Meander is going to have it set up for him. Ryle going to make that run up to the north. And though they brought one, they bring a couple more on the side of Undyne. See a really good cry. It's not a rune that's going to allow him to get killed. Oh, nice. Oh, nice up top. They use the metamorphosis and bring down Saber Light. So Old Yo just done a good job of securing this game with the TB. Yeah, that's what you need to have happen if you're uh, if you're the A team for sure. And that's also the price, obviously, of having Moon Meander head down towards mid. Um, An A team taking good advantage of that, and now uh, we'll see what they can transition that into. Is down bottom more aggression? Bloody Sky actually going to TP away. He will have his teleportation back afterwards uh, once he refills on all of his items and everything. Smart choice, just to get the hell out of there. Back at top, Moon taking a lot of damage himself. Should be okay with the leap charges here. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Oh my god. He held that fairy fire. <laughs> he never, yeah. never in doubt. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, old Yoda might be in some trouble himself. Two points in Astral now. Follow up with the arrow. Able to connect. Well played. And Yoda trying to fairy fire. Turns on the moon, but can't quite get the touch. He does have an illusion chasing him there as Saberlight is also going to walk away and roll in coming. As Osbo sensing a little bit of danger for him. No more leap charges. He doesn't have the mana. He can't quite get the boulder smash, but he is still going to get the chase either. down. Uh, he has another roll in a second. Moon has a leap, tries to get away. Sasbo roll, hits it, <laughs> able to connect and to be able to run down this Marana finally. <laughs> As uh, Marana will take one last arrow before she goes. Yeah, nice play. Good rotation from Sabo, taking a page from Moon's book from the last game. You've got to be active on this Earth Spirit. Go to where the kills can be found. Almost has that urn, and once that urn's up, you just want to be constantly ro roaming and fighting around whichever cores can get you kills. Well, that is uh, definitely what you want to see if you're an A-Team fan. Prince trying to run up here towards the top side. Going to pop Exorcism even for this one. And Chase Down is going to come. The connection is there. Good rotation also from the Blaze Sky. And with all these creeps being summoned, if Bryo goes down here, can they quite get in range? Not in time. Uh, but they might be able to pressure this tower nonetheless. And well, at least to kill on Dubu as four heroes come towards mid. Yeah, good way of just taking advantage of the fact of, you know, they the rune spawned on the side that Prince needed it to. He was able to grab it, force a kill, recognize that Bryle had committed Windrun to try and get to the rune quicker, so he didn't actually have that escape. And fortunately, they don't kill the Wind Ranger, but with the Siege Wagon here and an Exit, they get some good damage on this tier 1 tower before Moon TPs in to snipe the Siege Wagon. Yeah, I mean, th that was a good reaction from Undyne as well. Like you say, bringing in uh, the, the Marana and making sure that that catapult doesn't stay alive that much longer. It's still a 2,000 gold lead right now for Team Undyne, but you can see at least there's some semblance of a... Oh, oh rise up top! Oh my god, he's dead! He's got ulti! Damn. Okay. Uh, a little bit too Dyer's far forward top. there from the Terrorblade, and I guess that's the danger of playing against uh, the... The good old OD. I guess it was the Meteor Hammer reveal. I don't know if he'd seen it being picked up yet. We're gonna see another combo up top. Oh, oh the ball gets blocked. Dubu. Sick so play. Nice. Yes. Now trying to turn, hits an arrow now on Bloody Sky. TP away from Saber like they can't get that kill. And Dubu is gonna drop down his tombstone afterwards. And well, 
even try and stay alive a little bit longer as Moomiander dies to Prince elsewhere. Taking them on a little journey TP away, not gonna happen. A little bit of farm from the tombstone too. Dubu will die a hero's death. He helped secure the kill and allowed Saberlight to just TP out. Okay, really nice play from him. Okay, Marana, 100% win rate. Wow, okay, good to know. Um, man. One of those age-old combos that people have been running for a, a long, long time. Uh, it, it definitely, uh, I mean, the thing that's interesting about it in this game is they haven't even had to use the combo that much. They, they used it on the Oracle, but just been kind of uh, outlining them a little bit. Yeah, and with the new OD Meteor Hammer build, you've kind of got your own follow-up to the Astrals. If anything, we may not see them try and force the arrow Astral combo as much this game. True. Well. Kills up top. The ward did scout out this rotation, so it does seem like they know what's going on. But Saberlight, uh oh, he caught a bit of vision. He knows where Sabo is. Gonna roll away there. Not get caught by the uh, Astral. And so the retreat away, and then gonna do uh, the Meteor Hammer onto the tier one tower. He was trying to get the creeps with it, but he just. Ever so slightly mistimed it. Big deal for him. And similar to last game, it feels like I'm dying or, you know, having a... Well, last game was more of an even lane stage. This time around, they're slightly ahead, but they're doing all of this while Tomato just free farms. PA, hmm. top CS, top net worth, completely unpressured. Uh, the difference that I'm seeing, at least for now, is there isn't that, like, crazy acceleration of damage, although we are going to see Yoda get caught. A very nice arrow for a little bit. So secure it, but can they fight back into this one? Exorcism's gonna come out. Dubu gets taken down in a moment here by Rises. And so two kills for that Oracle, well worth it. And I mean, do they try and make anything else happen here? Kind of moving in. I'm really liking how A-Team's playing. Anytime Undying forces a fight, they say, we're ready to fight too. And we've got all of our key spells. Exorcism Metamorphosis is up. They just take a team fight and they're gonna get a T1 tower. Radiant's well middle played. tower has fallen. And it's only a thousand gold lead right now. And this is what you need to do, as you Dyer's mentioned. You know, you take simple spells, you uh, you make the moves with them, and then go back and farm afterwards. How big of a concern is it, though, the, the fact that Tomato has been getting free farm? You mentioned that it's at least something to be worried about. Like, if he gets his battle fury, does he match up pretty well? Huh? We're going to see a dead NP. I think it's definitely like i think both tb and pa like they're neither hero counters the other um you know tb doesn't want to build mkb pa you're playing physical damage into a very high armor hero the Terra blade who's gonna be able to shrug off a lot of that physical damage so um, i wouldn't say they're overly concerned about the pa having free farm um but it does present a situation where they're still behind i'm dying even though they lost that fight there and lost it on the tower they still have um they're still in a better position right now okay Catapult's going down, or rather, the tower's going down. We don't have a Marana to hit the catapult away. And thinking about TPing in there with the NP, but cancel that one. Uh, Bloody Sky instead is going to look elsewhere for greener pastures and try and get into that orchid as soon as possible, which can make their ganking potential that much stronger. Ow. Once per six minutes of gameplay for Dubu. <laughs> That is, no, uh, he's, not, he's not even top 10. Right? He's, he's doing fine. <laughs> That's impressive. That's it's definitely one of those heroes you die a lot. <laughs> True. Same Same point. Point. Right now on Rises, he does have Sunder available. Thinking about a turnaround there, but the save comes from Yoda. And gonna TP away afterwards. Will have enough heal, I believe, when he gets back to the fountain to stay alive. But nonetheless, they lose the Oracle. A lot of rotations down bottom for that, though. Oh, Prince. Mid. Saberlight just drops the hammer. Dyer's middle I, uh, 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 I think Saberlight's played this uh, offlane OD a number of times. Based on what we're seeing here, he looks very proficient. That's his second solo kill this game. Both of those, he's killed the carry and the mid lane laner by himself. I, you know, I don't even know if he asked killed him. It wasn't on cooldown when I looked. It, he must have, though. I Unless he just hit that Meteor Hammer freehand. But regardless, 
um, really good play from Saberlight, as you mentioned, out of the off lane. Uh, and last game as well. It's gonna drop another meter hammer onto that tier one, trying to roll in now. We get the magnetize onto two. Now the silence on the several. It's gonna be a dead Dubu. Can they find any more afterwards? Three application of magnetize. It's a really hard roll in though. He's their only stun. It's such a you know, he's playing so well in the the Earth Spirit. He's 007. He's been in seven of their nine kills, but it's like, he's like, guys, I got a good initiation. Who else can stun them or keep them in place? The Sprout is the only other, like, lockdown they have. And, well, you know, if you have a Radiant's Calling Blade or a Power Shot, you're getting out of that Sprout, so. Tricky time. Radiant structures true, true. Are fortified. Do almost have an Orchid now. Dubu is going to give his life for the cause down bottom yet again. Uh, as well, there's the Sprout now trying to roll in and find the catch for the kill. He drops the tombstone. People are TPing into this. I, Ryle wants to show him. Okay, so is Moon and Saberlight. Everybody's here. They got the Meteor Hammer afterwards. Good roll away from that Earth Spirit. They're going to lose the Oracle yet again. And Oh, able to dodge the arrow just barely. They don't have vision. His power shot again in a second, but the roll away killed. yet again from the Earth Spirit. They can't find him. Oh, wait, no, they got, they got vision. Him. They did a little sneaky peek through the trees, no. and they'll take him down too. Man. I think they knew he didn't have a TP, unfortunately. Dubu, what a hero. Dubu <laughs> has is under attack. Dubu has been very impressive. Him and Saberlight have been the two stand-up players this particular attack. game. And I, I think really, like, they, they've done a really good job holding their own on the A-team side, having some good fights, but PA continuing to free farm now as a battle leader. That's a dangerous situation for sure. This Prince is going to try and chase down Saberlight, but turning their sights now towards Bryl. Well, I'm not sure if they're going to find anybody, actually. They do not have detection. Hmm. Radiant's bottom tower has So they'll fallen. get a tower, but I don't think you feel good about that if you're A-team. You really wanted to get a kill on one of the core heroes. They're going to smoke up, but Exorcism is going to be wearing off. Dyer's TP Curry. does have Metamorph, so I don't mind this. I actually think this is how they're going to win this game. Okay, chase down, trying to find Bryle. They have the Q available from Oracle. Fortune's end connects and dead. Okay, and now trying to take down this tombstone afterwards. Soul, uh, uh, Soul Rip heals it back up a bit more, but they take that one down. Baron of Moon trying to roll in. Saberlight there banishes for one. Can they find any more of these kills afterwards, though? Rises trying to beat them down to death. They throw down the big old ulti. Thunder's still available, though. Throws it back over onto Dubu. Metamorphs is still going. Tomato jumps now onto Ryza. He just gets exploded. As Exorcism wore off the fight, wore away, and A-Team couldn't connect. Uh, it was a good idea, but then there's this PA that shows up, you know, and this PA is incredibly far in level 14 with a ton of right-click damage at this point, and... Odie's sanity's removing about 75% of TP's health, even though he gets the Sun Drop as his entire mana pool gone. Mm. And nice combo. Take him to catch Earth Spirit as well, and they'll pick up most of these bounty runes. But I mean, a good idea from A Team. They're definitely showing like really good just signs that they know what you know, they know what they're doing, of course, but they, they can be competitive here. Right. Yeah, it's it's decisions that you you like to see, but uh, maybe just a bit too far behind because of. I mean, that's the, it's it's a high risk, high reward play right there. Definitely, uh, arrow is going to be perfectly timed as well as the meteor hammer, and they just dropped all of it onto Prince's head. And now with the six thousand gold lead, things starting to very heavily tilt into the favor of Undyne. Yeah, I think the biggest issue has just been their inability to keep heroes locked in place. Like, they popped that exorcism and didn't get any kills with it. They popped the metamorphosis, and even though there was kind of a fight going on, it wasn't like there was a hero stun that was going to die in So, Radiant's I'm dying, continuing to just outmaneuver them because of the kind of lack of stuns on the AD. True. That's a tough one. They're going to bring in uh, some... Heroes up top, Ryle's gonna push out that lane and then try and secure Roche at the same time. Tomato uh, will pick up the Aegis there as well. You gotta get the feeling as Saberlight's trying to chase the bloody sky. He gets him. Ooh, Orchid? He is just tickling him, dude. He is literally just tickling him. But they bring in more. Can they find this kill? This would be a really nice get onto Saberlight. But going in, this, where's the detection? They don't have it. They're not gonna get him. Oh, no. He gets away, and now the rest of them are in a tear position trying to TP out rises will escape but the rest of the A team is getting dismantled 
Three go down, looking for a fourth here on Prince. Pryle trying to get into position, gets the power shot, but doesn't quite have the angle or the range for the shackle. He's still looking. <laughs> this guy's crazy. He's diving towers. I mean, it, you, he oh, knew no. he was coming. They can't make it. <laughs> they should have been shackled this quite latch, but it doesn't matter. They'll find Prince and take him down too quick. <laughs> was uh, too much chase potential and the double damage PA. Still fishing around with a blur, trying to find some more kills, but we'll just farm some creep waves here. And this is where we're going to start seeing the pressure just add up. They're going to keep all these lanes pushed out and anybody poking their noses out is potentially going on. As we see here, Tomato. <laughs> That'll teach you to take his ward. Tomato just... I mean, like you said, heads up play about where to be to find that kill. Rises, runs into Dubu, realizes I can't actually stay here anymore. Shackle, not gonna latch. Power shot comes Dyer's through afterwards. Dubu will die to the illusion. Very nicely played there. Rises now. See what he can do. They pop exorcism. They already had meta out. Old Yoda able to get the dispel. Bloody Sky ends up getting caught. Tomato is just taking no prisoners here. Down low, but with the Aegis, he's not afraid. Ready to go back in for more. This guy just has a bloodlust at the moment. As he is looking in the back lines, seeing if he can find anybody. Prince gets jumped on the big jump and the big hit from Saberlight. And now the Meteor Hammer afterwards. It all comes landing on their head. An ultra kill from Tomato. Pretty as can be. Not even sweating it. The PA 9 0 and 2. Dyer's completely uncontested. Comes online at the perfect time. You know, his team were just starting to need him because of the progression on the TP and the Death Prop. And Tomato's like, no problem. You guys have created enough space for me. Bottom is Death missing. Death Battle Fury and now a BKB coming out as well. You can see the immediate transition. Take that tier 2 power, run up, get the outpost. Meanwhile, down bottom. Uh, they do get a kill on the moon as he was trying to push out the side lanes. Oh, wait, no, wait. Why didn't he take the outpost? Go get the outpost. All right, there we go. Dubu's on it. <laughs> Dubu's on the job. Dubu will always do that. The team thing. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Well, uh, 20 minutes now with a 13k gold lead. A team just trying to hold their triangle. And they know where they are because of that bounty rune, so they're smoking right at them here. Brow's a bit low, though. Jumps right to start. Orchid's gonna connect now. Trying to take down one. This is a nice kill to start it off as they kill off the OD. Now Prince trying to TP away to make his escape. They lose the Oracle and the Nature's Prophet, and uh, Ryzen has to be careful. Sunder, walk away. Silence, misses. It's a little dangerous here. We'll call off the charge. I'm well, happy just uh, to back off his Aegis. Gonna be expiring in about a minute's time, so he wants to perhaps try find a way to use it in a team fight, or if not, he doesn't want to make sure make sure it doesn't expire mid fight. Well, he can just jump on uh, Prince right there. Just make sure he doesn't get caught, like you said, in that minute mark. Uh, but they do have more items to pick up now as well, as it's the next round of neutrals. Uh, right now, Dyer only hanging on to that Van Brace, but a smoke out and pings coming immediately. They have an inkling of where the A-team is. It really shows how Undying's playing, though. They haven't even found all the neutral items themselves, and we're right. at 21 minutes. And they're the team who's been able to Dyer's farm all the jungle. I think Bryo's literally just jungling now because it's like, guys, we didn't... We need to get these neutral items, you know? <laughs> Where are they? Um, they've been prioritizing, you know, taking fights, map control, and just pressuring A team. It's been really effective. Top tower has fallen. Absolutely. Oh. Oh, wow. They, they found him. They found him right away. And there's the Meteor Hammer connection. Blade Mail will not stop them from uh, keeping that pressure on as he comes out of the second imprisonment. Saberlight will clean up the kill as. Well, now Bryle's looking for more. Shackle on the boat, possibly? Doesn't quite latch. Neil Scepter, and they'll walk away. Oh, Meta. Dubu? Okay. They take down Yoda, and Dubu just walks away. They can't catch him. Tomato, turned upon. They banish yet again. Oh, he's got the ulti. Stays Eclipse, ready to come down here in just a moment. He's just building up his stack. So much mana, and didn't get a chance to get away. Saber light the monster as GG is called. 
Damn, what a spanking. Undying looking really good. Yeah, individually as a team, you know, everything's clicking for them. Very impressed. Um, showing some uh, variety in their drafts, their strategies. Uh, just 